Welcome, everyone, to the improvisation course. Yes. I have gotten around to recording some videos for y'all, so I'm very, very excited. Uh, let's jump in and start doing some improvising. So jump, jumping just like right in, um, I want to start explaining to you the mindset that you want to be jumping in and l how you want to see improvisation. So improvisation is pretty much you making guitar solos. Um, you, this is for any instrument as well. If you want to do piano solos, whatever. I The concepts all are the same. Um, but improvisation is you creating uh, a melody in real time. Like you are basically coming up with melodies in real time. And that's all you're doing. You are technically replacing the vocal. Um, if you think about like a song, like you listen to a song, the hit, like the main melody line, what you are doing is replacing that within the space of where it is. And that's what improvisation typically has always been. Um, or say like, you know, you are the main line, like you are doing an imp instrumental song or something like that. So basically improvisation is just a collection of melodies and you are doing it in real time and you are creating in real time. And it is like one of the most sought after skill that you just hear everyone doing. And especially when someone like looks at someone doing it, you're like, oh my God, how does that person think of that in the moment? Like out of nowhere, they just absolutely slay and come up with like a melody that that I could never dream of writing if I spent an hour, like hours doing. And so my goal uh, by the end of this course is to have you guys at a level where you are super confident at um, playing, uh, at improvising and making up your own solos and being the person that wows other people into with all your amazing guitar playing skills or improvisation skills. Now, that is what improvisation is. Um, basically, you are replacing the vocal melody and what you need to do is remember that Every single thing that you are doing when improvising is about creating an emotion. Now, motion in music is the only thing that creates an emotional response. So if you can create motion in, in something, in, and this is in any creative work, video editing, blah, 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 it's just the same thing. Um, storytelling, you know, they all say the same thing with different words, but it's just basically if you can create motion in music, you will create an emotional response. What that means is you have to create tension and then you have to resolve it. You know, you have the obstacle and then you have the triumph. It's in everything. It never, ever changes. The guy can never find love and then the guy falls in love. It's like, whoa, you know, um, tales as old as time, uh, unless you never find love. And I'm really sorry if that's you. Uh, but we all love you. Uh, now back onto the main point, tension resolution. That is all you are doing. Um, so in music, in when you're improvising, that is the fastest shortcut that I have, have ever seen, uh, that is going to get you good. Like it's going to get you connecting with people because that is the, the core thing that just really draws in people It's tension resolution. That means long note, short note. That means short note, long note. That means loud, soft, you know, soft, loud. Uh, lots of notes, not a lot of notes. Uh, you like sliding, don't slide. It just like, it. it's so basic. It just, it, whatever, it, if you're like, doesn't this seem like really like basic? Yes, it is basic. And it is something that is completely overlooked um, with every player. Uh, it takes a while. Only the players that are exposed to like actually experienced guitar solo, like guitar players and stuff like that, um, or musicians, uh, immediately get they, they learn this right away because the person's like, uh, "Stop playing scales, man. That you sound like shit." Now, going to that next step, scales, exercises, licks, all that stuff. None of those things are going to serve you in a really healthy way if you don't have this down. If you do not understand tension resolution, if you do not understand and have the confidence to create, you know, start with an idea and then resolve the idea and and find ways to do that and like deviate from that, you straight up, I don't care what scales you play, you will sound like a person playing scales. If I don't care what licks you play, you will sound like a person playing licks, arpeggios, all of that stuff. All of the fun techniques that are really great to add 
will never ever hit. They will not connect with people because you, if you do not know how to build connection, you have no shot at using any tool that amplifies connection. So that's what we're trying to do. It's like dividing by zero. You're always going to get zero. Um, so what we're going to do is really, really hone in on tension resolution. And that is the only thing that matters when it comes to improvisation. Now, the first step into moving into tension and resolution is rhythm. So rhythm is the key tool that you want to start thinking about when it comes to improvisation. Now, when you're listening to anything from this point, this is the, there's going to be no guitar practice or anything in this, in this lesson. But in this lesson, I want you to go and I want you to pick out any guitar solos that you love, any songs that you love, any great melodies that you love, literally anything that gets you excited when you hear it. Um, like for instance, I would look at personally, um, Sweet Child of Mine, you know, Sweet Child of Mine has like this epic, epic solo, like this, just one of the best solos of all time. And I want, all the only thing I want you to do is listen to the rhythm because Slash's understanding of rhythm and tension and resolution is like God tier in this, in this clip, like in the song where he does his solo at the end, even throughout the whole song, da, 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 da. Da 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 ba ba like it's so the rhythms are just so cleverly done da 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 you know ba 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 um you could do that over anything say I was playing an A minor right you know So cool. So I want you to listen to rhythms and just be so laser focused when every solo you hear, what is it? What are they doing with the rhythms? Are they going fast, short, short or short, fast, fast? What are they doing? Like listen to every single thing, short, fast, short, long, short. You know, what, what is the cleverness that they're doing there? Listen to rhythms and that's it. That's just grab as many recordings as you love. Listen to those recordings and just hone in on the rhythms and then really, really start to sing back those rhythms. Sing like if you're listening to the slash solo, I don't you go da, da, da. don't sing the melody, sing the rhythm. Ba 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 ba. Or say it was like um, the song was like Shape of You. Ba wa 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 wa. Don't sing the melody. Ba da 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 da. Ba 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 ba. You know that's easy a lick. You know, he's setting you up every time. Um, just grab as many melodies and and if you can really isolate the rhythms, they are going to be the bedrock of all your improvisation and to first start building tension resolution. So sorry if I'm ranting a lot about rhythms and tension resolution, but it is just so important. Like it just, I can't stress. If you do not have this, you, you're, it's going to be so hard. And I, I'm not going to, I'm, the reason I'm being really stressed on this is because we're going to have Q and A sessions and people are going to come in and be like, oh, I've been practicing my improvisation and they're going to make videos of them improvising and it will be the same um, nine times out of 10. The answer is most likely going to be, you need to focus on your rhythms. You need to create tension and resolution. That will be it. Like that will, it is, it is that clear. Like you hear it everywhere, especially in beginners, intermediate, and even professionals They just don't do it. I didn't do it for so long and it held me back so much. I could play all the scales, all the modes, all the arpeggios. I had licks. I could do, I could play the pentatonic scale so fast, so fast. And none of it mattered. Every time I couldn't connect with people. I couldn't connect my solos. My solos didn't have vibe. Like they didn't really gel with people. Even the even the transcribed solos that I would learn just didn't hit people because I was like, oh, I could get all notes right and I'm good. You know, it's like, no, it's about the tension, resolution. You're not getting the rhythm. You're not getting really nitty gritty on that stuff. And as soon as I did, absolute game changer. And that is 
what everyone's questions to me now, the reason I'm making this course is because you guys keep asking me, can we help me with my solos? Help me with my solos. It is, that is it. End of story. You could just watch this video and then just never want to watch another video of mine again and you will absolutely slay. I kid you not. You could be like one of the best guitar, like you'd be like, oh, I'm really good at guitar, but it's not, it's not clicking. Just focus on rhythms, jump into your stuff that you already do and like literally just laser in on the, on the rhythms and get tension resolution. Whatever you're doing, do the opposite of. Boom. You will absolutely slay and people will love it. Um, you'll love it too because you'll be like, oh my God, I'm actually making music now. This is a dream. So that's how I felt when it happened. So I really hope it lands for you guys. So welcome to the improvisation course and we're going to be having heaps of fun. Uh, the way the whole format's going to go is I'm going to give you guys the intro. Um, we're going to go over a couple of tools in the next videos and then we are improvising. I I firmly believe uh, you do it, you learn by doing. Um, that's how I've learned. Um, that's how many other people have learned. So we're going to learn together. I will make a bunch of loops. I will do a bunch of jamming with you guys and we are going to like never ending shred sessions. So <laughs> can't wait. And let's uh, jump into a couple of tools to do some improvising. All right.